So what I'd like to show is the best image feature. And what we're doing is when we first start and look at a sample here where we're looking straight just with a bright field view, we're not necessarily getting the best image possible. So we go and select best image. I am not sure who the person And by picking a predetermined mode such as defect, the microscope is going through. So it's showing us bright field with different settings, bright field and high dynamic range, dark field, dark field and a combination of wider anti-halation, dark field and our HDR. So it's mixing a lot of the different modes that are available, including using differential interference contrast. Now, where we see our original image up here, we can now look and say we prefer the image of dark field and using our wider insulation. So by picking that option and applying, the microscope is now reconfigured to that technique, giving us the image that we'd like to see, our best image. So next I'd like to show you our live stitching capabilities for our panoramic. So sometimes when we're looking at the sample, the field of view is not large enough for what we're trying to see. So here we're only seeing one component on that sample at our lowest magnification with this lens. So what we can do is we can start our stitching mode. And I'm doing a very quick, simple panoramic view. So I'm going to start the process. And here, utilizing our touchscreen monitor, looking at our sample, I can move the stage, our motorized stage, just by simply moving my finger. So the scans are happening in real time, and that image is being stitched together. And this way, now we can see our entire region of interest. We can see additional components and then our next section of the circuit board. So when I complete this process, that entire image is put together and it becomes my new map screen also. So as it comes back to our camera mode, and I go back into my live, we can see where the camera is on that map and we can simply drag it back to that region of interest and it's going to move the microscope and show us that specific feature again. Utilizing our touch screen, we can, we can double click and simply center and we can even pinch zoom in and out on our sample.